I'm very fortunate as an artist to have this as my art form. Artist Dwayne Zuck. Do you want the pink or the orange? Loves traveling the country, spreading the joy you get from painting. Any more life in it? Yeah. This week, Dwayne brings his project to Chimes, Delaware. Ooh, that'll be pretty. A nonprofit agency helping people with disabilities engage more fully in life's opportunities. Art, music, dance is something they all are very passionate about, and it brings them to life. Look at you, you are a pro at this. About 200 people are participating. We brought out our classic art rollers, which attach to wheelchairs and have a handle. We have what we call our pogo paint poles, which are these spring-loaded stampers. Okay, you ready? We're gonna put some yellow on it. Wayne created these tools after growing up in a foster home with individuals with disabilities. You know, if you wanna have a fully inclusive of arts experience, you have to create the means to make that happen. You can't use the standard off-the-shelf paintbrush. And I can remember giving my foster sister a ride in the red wagon to catch the bus because she couldn't get there fast enough with her crutches. And those moments shaped what I would do as an artist. The canvas is going to be split up into gift cards for the people here at Chimes. It's exciting. It's things that they can hang in their home. It's things that they can give to their families as gifts. The painting is almost complete. Yellows and pinks and reds and oranges are great. And at the end of the day, we'll top it off with a little sunset and we'll add some blues and purples to it. The feeling you get from the arrangement of colors on canvas never can match the heart that goes in it. In Newark, Bill Rohr, Fox 29 News.